Give me up Deuteronomy 28, go to verse 58. Read on down, start at verse 58. Verse 58. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God. So we have failed to uh, fear or respect the glorious name of Yahweh by, by name and by character also, because um, if we are chosen by the Most High um, Yahweh, then we have a responsibility to um, follow the ethics and culture that He set for our people. So we have failed to um, properly represent the Most High God. Like I said, these Black Hispanic churches are not representing the Most High God at all, they're representing man. So we have failed to, and that's why we are in the situation that we are in today at the bottom of society. Continue. Verse 59. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sickness, and of long continuance. So our people suffer from chronic diseases, long continuances of diseases, where we are um, treating high blood pressure, um, diabetes, um, heart conditions for uh, years or even decades. I'm constantly getting uh, medicated. Gout. So, Gout, gout, right. <laughs> Every um, illness under the sun, we know we have somebody in the family that um, has it or deals with it. So our people suffer from long continuance of sickness and diseases because we have failed to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Continue. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. So the Most High has brought upon us all the diseases of Egypt. And this is modern day Egypt. Like I said, we all have somebody in the family, an uncle, cousin, nephew that has suffered with some kind of a chronic disease, whether it's AIDS, syphilis, heart disease, stroke. We are suffering all these diseases because we have uh, dealt with the Most High God and keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. Continue. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So every sickness and plague that's um, which is not written in the book, the Messiah has brought upon our people because we have not obeyed the law. So we're going to... Um, Precept. Okay, bring it out. Revelation 22 and 18. Revelation 22 and 18. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Verse 18. Bring it out. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Kaso, if you add to the to the scriptures or add to the word of God saying I feel this or I think God wants us to do that and is that's lined up with scriptures he's going to add the plagues to you then so we're here to um, help you out because we're family we we love our people we're here to um, encourage and build up our people and help them give them the information they need to improve their lives so they can be a blessing to themselves and to their others we'll show you um, one aspect where you can um, reduce sickness and get in better health that we have neglected. Our pastors haven't taught us this. Um, our society hasn't taught us this. Um, Hollywood or um, the media haven't taught us this. So we're gonna show you one aspect so you can um, increase your health and do better. So let's go to Leviticus chapter 11. We're gonna go over the dietary laws today. Fine. Bring it up. Dietary is one of the one reasons that we are leading in sickness and diseases. Because we have failed to keep our responsibility by um, keeping the dietary law. So Leviticus chapter 11 started verse 2. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So pay attention. Speak to the children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is instructions from the Most High God for you that these are the beasts that you should eat. Not every beast is a meant for food. So the Bible distinguishes what is food and what is it. Continue. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts that ye, that shall ye eat. 
So whatever um, creatures are part of the hoof, where they got um, their feet are a special way where they're um, where it's like cloven foot and part of hoof, and they chew the cud. That is a animals that's a fit for consumption. Chew of cud is a special digestive system that the Most High has given the animals, where they um, where they will chew the food, swallow it, and then they got muscles in their body that regurgitates or pumps the body, pumps the food back up to their mouth, and they chew it again and finish them um, digesting the food. That's a special um, feature that um, animals that are fit for um, consumption have to have. They have to be both um, cloven footed or split hoof and chew up the cud. Continue. First of all, nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud or them that divide the hoof as the camel because he cheweth the cud but divided not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. So the camel is unclean. Continue. Verse five. Verse five. And the coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. So the coney, which is another type, was a type of rabbit. He um, cheweth the cud, for he chews the, yeah, he chews the cud, but his hoof is not divided. So he's unclean, so. He's not a fit for food either, the rabbit is. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. All right, in verse seven. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be clover footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. So the swine is an old English word for a pig. A pig is a, an animal that is not fit for consumption. I know um, Blacks and Spanish love to um, have barbecues and um, eat their pigs, hog hogs, ham hogs, and all that garbage, but that is not um, food. That um, is um, food that defiles your body, and that's not fit for consumption. Continue. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So their flesh we should not eat, and their carcass we should not even touch. So we gotta quit eating um, pig meat. That is not a part of our diet. That's one reason why you guys are uh, so sick, getting cancer, uh, clogging up your arteries because it's a highly um, fat um, food. You're getting strokes and all kinds of diseases and illnesses. So you gotta put the pig meat away. And also you gotta learn how to read um, food labels also because um, these wicked people have uh, put um, pig meat in a lot of our foods like um, an ingredient gelatin that's in um, gummy bears or marshmallows. You gotta stay away from that because that um, has pig meat in it. Or your um, vitamins and um, even uh, medical supplements that are gel pills, gel capsules. You gotta be careful because that has gelatin in it also. Or a um, lard, that's another ingredient. That has pig meat in it. So you gotta stay away from me like your jiffy um, cornbread mix. Or you got something y'all can? Monosodium glutamate. Right, and be careful with mono, MSG, monosodium glutamate, or um, monodiglycerides. A lot of um, ingredients in your processed foods has a pig meat in it, so you gotta be uh, careful. Uh, matter of fact, hold that and give me um, Ezekiel chapter four, verse 13, I think it is. Ezekiel chapter four, verse 13. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter four, verse 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither will drive them. So we are eating defiled bread among the Gentiles. That's another one of the curses for we failed to keep these laws that you command. So you need to um, study the Bible and also um, study the ingredients and read your food labels and be <coughs> careful what you eat and be careful what you put into your body. I mean, even your hair brushes. A lot of your hair brushes got a boar's, yeah, boar's um, hairs or a pig hairs. And that defiles your body too and puts you on a low vibration with the most high. So you gotta be careful with your hair brushes also then. So we're here to bring the knowledge and restore this information that's been lost and hidden from our people. Continue. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 9. Dish. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever had fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, then shall ye eat. So, um, 
So the fish that has skins and fins and scales in the waters, those are what's fit for food. So like your uh, tuna fish, your uh, perch, salmon, bass. There's a lot of fish out there that have fins and scales that's uh, fit for food. No kingfish. Right, we're going to go to it. So you got to pay attention to what kind of fish you're eating also and seafood. Continue. Verse 10. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So whatever comes out the water that does not have fins or scales, they are unclean and they are an abomination unto you. So you should not be eating shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, what's clams, conch, um, king oysters, fish. kingfish, catfish, cat catfish, right? The fish with whiskers, they be all slimy and all that crayfish, mussels, shark, mussels, shark. Then that fish. is not food. Whale. Just because you see it in the grocery store, that does not mean that is food according to the Bible. Conch. This tells us what food is. Not every animal is food according to the Bible. Conch. That is why you're sick and um, you're breaking out when you eat seafood. You have no business eating that crap. Bring it out. Everything that tastes good for you is not for you. This is forbidden food sick. that you should not eat. And that's why you're at such a low vibration and you are sick and you're constantly um, going to the doctor every other day um, getting medication because you're putting this filth and abomination in your body. You need to wake up, family. Wake up. Verse 11, they shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcass in abomination. An abomination means detestable. So, this, so to a man or woman of the Most High, these creatures, pig meat of shrimp, crab, lobster, is a detestable. We will not um, defile our bodies with this crab and set ourselves up for failure. Precept. All right, precept. Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16 and 4. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 4. Look it out, Huck. The Lord hath made all things for himself, ye, even the wicked, for the day of evil. So the Most High has made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. So, so every creature has a purpose. Some foods are animals are made for a food, and others are scavengers. Your pigs are scavengers, <coughs> your uh, shrimp, crabs, lobsters, catfish, those are scavengers that um, regulate the, the oceans and the seas and um, keeps the waters in control where they eat the waste of the other creatures. That's right! And, and eat the dead carcasses. So as they put that filth in their bodies, when you eat shrimp, crab, lobster, or pork, you're putting filth in your bodies, filth and toxins in your bodies also then. Right. And no matter how many times you bless or say grace over the food, the most I can't bless it because it's filthy. And he warned you in the Bible not to touch it. Huh. That's it. So you need to wake up, family. This is um, knowledge that everybody knows now. The constant community knows not to um, eat pig meat, shrimp, crab, or lobster. Uh, Islam knows not to eat pig meat. Hey, bring but, it out! But a lot of Christians, they still in darkness and they'll, they'll serve a pig meat after church and praise God upstairs. Then after service, after everybody come down the street and uh, come down to the basement and eat pig meat. But the law is done away with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with that. Uh, continue back to Leviticus chapter 11. Verse 12. Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. So the Bible saying this over and over again. What has no skins or scales or fins in the water shall be abomination unto you. So the Most High really wants you to get this. He's saying this over and over again. But you guys are um, stubborn and ignoring it. Verse, verse 13. And these are they which ye shall have an, abom an abomination among the foes. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. The eagle and the ossifrage and the osprey and the vulture, and the kite after his kind, every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the nighthawk, and the cuckoo, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, 
and the cormorant and the great owl and the swan and the pelican and the gear eagle and the star, the heron after her kind and the lapwing and the bat. All fowls that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you. So not all um, birds um, that have wings and feathers are meant for food. The bird that you should be eating is chicken, turkeys, and quail, and a few others are not sure, but at least stick to your chickens, no. turkeys, quails, dove, dove is kosher too then. Yeah. So, you, uh, sacrifice, dear, you should sacrifice doves. Oh yeah, so uh, now Kim said they used to sacrifice doves in the kid in the temple then. So uh, mm -hmm. not everything that flies is meant for food. So stay away from your eagles, vultures, uh, your scavengers, your owls, bats, and stick with the kosher room animals. No, no predator birds. No, no predator birds because they are scavengers and they're um, responsible also for a regulated the earth too by um, eating balance. the waste and the corpse of um, dead creatures that um, live. Dead Keep creatures. Under what? Keeping balance. Keeping balance in the system. Gone. So let's go to um, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 25. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 25. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 25. Ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated you from you as unclean. So if you're a spiritual man or woman of the Most High, you should be able to put the difference between the clean beast and the unclean beast, between the clean fowls and the unclean fowls and the clean of um, creatures of the sea and the unclean. Just because it's in the grocery store for sale and it's wrapped up in a nice package or presentation does not mean it's food then. So you need to uh, understand the basics. This is a milk lesson. You understand the dietary law and know what's um, good and beneficial for your body and what's um, destructive for your body. That's right! Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? So how so ye are the temple of God, your bodies is. So how can the Most High dwell in you if you are filled, if you got pig meat in your body, shrimp, crabs, oysters, things that are detestable and abominable? How can the Most High dwell in such filth like that? Is there anything on verse 17? Yeah. Verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God, he sh him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy which temple ye are. So if any man defiles the temple of God, he whom the Most High will destroy them. When you read about the animal sacrifices in um, Leviticus, Numbers and all that, they never brought um, pigs to the temple to, for sacrifice, or um, shrimp, lobsters, crabs, or um, hares, or these are crazy animals. They usually brought um, goat, sheep, rams, ox, oxen, clean animals. They never brought them um, filthy um, abominable animals nowhere close to the temple. That's right! So as our bodies as the temple now that the Most High um, do us, we can't bring filthy unclean animals to our body either or you'll be destroyed. Let's give me um, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15. Bring it out! prophecy of the return of the Lord when he's coming with fire, anger, fury, and rebuke. Continue. Verse 16. 
For by fire and by the sword will the Lord bleed with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. many. So there's a lot of wicked people here. So by fire and flames, the rebuke of the Lord will replete with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord's going to be many, because many people are not trying to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, and have faith in, in Christ. So there's going to be a lot of um, dead people when the Lord comes back to kill. Ah, That's right. Continue. Verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eat each wine's flesh and the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. So those of you that are still rebellious, eating swine's flesh, or even mouse or other detestable animals, the Lord is going to destroy you then. You're not fit to go to the kingdom then. You haven't, you haven't been born again at all. That's okay, how many um, times Pastor Porchop baptized that you haven't been born again? Time. You're filthy, you're not worthy enough to be into the kingdom. So you, you gotta go, you gotta get the boot. Mm. That's it. A bolter. Break hey, a lot of your pastors out. are wicked. I see ya. <laughs> hey, a lot of your pastors are wicked. They're not going to teach you um, what says the Most High. Give me um, Ezekiel 22, 26. You need to come out of these churches. They are dead. Come out of here, my people. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 26. Her priests have violated my law. So our and pastors are the modern day priests. And they are violating the laws even to this day. Continue. And have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. They are lost in the real like everybody else is. Continue. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. They, they don't show the difference at all. They say that everything is good to eat. Just pray and bless it, and you'll be good. They're not showing you the difference between the clean and the unclean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. How many uh, pastors or so-called a men of God do you know that keep the Shabbat on Saturday? Out of all the pastors, very, very few, if any at all. Most, most pastors keep defiled the Lord's Sabbath day shopping, um, maybe going golfing, or doing their own pledges, working around the house, cutting grass. They're not keeping the Sabbath holy, and they sure as hell ain't teaching you how to keep the Sabbath holy. And I am profane among them. And, if, and them being so-called representatives of the Most High, they are profaning the Most High. Let's go to... Um, Give me uh, Sirach chapter 30, start at verse 14. Sirach chapter